Psalm 119. Verses 49 through 80. Remember fervently the word and promise to your servant in which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort and consolation in my affliction that your word has revived me and given me life. The proud have had me greatly in derision Yet have I not declined in my interest in or turned aside from your law. When I have earnestly recalled your ordinances from of old, O Lord, I have taken comfort. Burning indignation, terror, and sadness seize upon me because of the wicked who forsake your law. statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have earnestly remembered your name, O Lord, in the night, and I have observed your law. This I have had as a gift of your grace and as my reward that I have kept your precepts, hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying them. You are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful and gracious to me, according to your promise. considered my ways, I turned my feet to obey your testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep your commandments. Hordes of the wicked have enclosed and ensnared me. I have not forgotten your law. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. I am a companion of all those who fear, revere, and worship you and of those who who observe and give heed to your precepts. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of your mercy and loving kindness. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt well with your servant, O oh Lord, according to your promise. Teach me good judgment, wise and right discernment, and knowledge, for I have believed, trusted, relied on, and clung to your commandments.
before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now your word do I keep hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying it. You are good and kind and do good. Teach me your statutes, oh Lord. arrogant and godless have put together a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their hearts are as fat as grease, their minds are dull and brutal, but I delight in your law. I have been afflicted that I might learn your statutes. The law from your mouth is better to me than a thousand pieces of gold and silver. Your hands have made me cunningly fashioned and established me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who reverently and worshipfully fear you will see me and be glad because I have hoped in your word and tarried for it. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray you, your merciful kindness and steadfast love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercy and loving kindness come to me, that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who reverently and worshipfully fear you turn to me. And those who have known your testimonies, let my heart be sound, sincere, and wholehearted and blameless in your statues, that I may not be put to shame. 